I have been observing and hearing the events in social media and even some media outlets say that Honorable Sotsi he is planning a, a coup. I want to say I do not need to plan a coup to take over ANC. Because I'm the founder of the party. And I have every detail about the party that no one else has. So I do not need a coup to take over the party. But what I'm saying is this. That our constitution says that uh, the term of office of officials of the party is five years. And this party was registered on the 15th of July 2015. So that means on Monday, which will be 15th June 2020, the term of office of all party officials, including the party leader, will have expired. And what happens, our constitution goes ahead and says, if there is a vacancy in any position, the party is supposed to call for grassroots and a national election. So I am saying that I'm not going to engage in undemocratic practice of organizing coups, but I now demand for the interest of members of the party that we need to have elections. I know because of Corona, there may be challenges. But the party as it is now, those who claim to be in the party, have not started the process of conducting elections. There is no notice to the registrar of political parties. And yet, on Monday, the term of office is expiring. So those who say, that Honorable Sozi wants to do a coup. I want to tell them they have done a coup onto themselves because they have been sitting there waiting. Now the deadline is Monday, 15th of June. So I am challenging them. Call elections, let people elect themselves from the grassroots and let us have a national election. At that point, I will make a substantive announcement. But I want to say that we cannot blame others for our own problems. We must face our own problems. And if we have any plans to join William Ruto, let us join William Ruto without dragging the names of other people into our plans. And those who are pushing on Musalia to disengage with Raila, I want to tell them, Look at people like Murunga. You know Murunga has been moving around with William Ruto. Tindi Mwale. This man from Lurambi, Titus Hamala. In fact, he owes an apology to the Luya community. Because during his homecoming, he invited William Ruto as a chief guest. And when William Ruto came to his homecoming, he told the Luyas that they are incapable of leading that at our panga. He has not, Hamala has not come forward to apologize to the Luya community. Not even apologizing to Mudavadi himself, who was demeaned by the statement of Ruto. So he cannot be a disciple of Mudavadi now, talking louder than loyal members of the party. I want to tell my brother Mudavadi that you are walking around with the Hyannas. People who pretend to be with you, but genuinely they are not with you. They are with William Ruto. Even that press conference that was held at Mweshimiwa Wetangula's house, it was like a roll call of jubilee.